So I'm just out recording a little video in front of my building. So today we're gonna be showing you how to do noise reduction on just basic handheld video from your smartphone. Easy to do, and you're gonna be surprised at the results we get. Let's get started. All right, folks, here we are on our desktop and we've got our web browser here. Today we're gonna to be concentrating on showing you what this Clarity VX is all about. So here we are on our website. I'll put a, a clickable link down in the description for you as well. And you'll notice that it is a piece of paid software. Uh, this particular one that I'm gonna be showing you today sells for about 40 bucks US, but you can get a demo version so you can try it out and see if it's gonna work for you before you fork over any money. So what you would do is you come down here and you click on get demo and then they'll put you through a little registration thing that you need to do and then you'll download a program which is called install wave central and basically what it is is they've got like a central management platform for all of the VSTs that they create so you install this and then because you've already gone through the other process to register this demo then when you install it they'll give you a chance to put in a code and let it finish this thing and then when you fire up resolve it'll be available for you to use and i'll i'll show you how to do that once we uh once we get into it here okay so let's uh let's fire up resolve okay so here we are on resolve and you see i've already got uh, a bunch of clips in here that i've loaded up a bunch of these are duplicates so I went out and I shot some footage in front of the building and I've also got some footage from some client videos that I got permission from them to use for this. We're just going to show you first how how well it works over what you can normally do within DaVinci. So I'm going to show you uh, one here that will actually compare the raw audio with what DaVinci can do and then what Clarity can do. And I'm not going to play each one all the way through because that'll, that'll take too long. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to I'm gonna put up the whole thing so you can watch start to finish all the different times where we've applied this, and you can kind of watch it all in sequence at the end. So let's give you a little taste here. I'm just going to play uh, just a, like a couple of seconds and then switch to the next, the next one. So here we are with the raw audio. So here we are with... A couple of landscapers in the neighborhood on opposite sides of me. So here we are with a couple of landscapers in the neighborhood on op. So you can see that there is quite a difference there with this tool, and it's absolutely amazing. So here's a here's a couple more examples I'll take you through real quick. I just wanted to point out something here that, and I'll, I'll show you once we get into the Fairlight page, uh, how far you can actually take this. Now you could completely remove the sound of that bus going by, but even if you've got dialogue going over top, to have that bus go by completely silent is gonna kind of push you into uncanny valley a little bit. So it's not something you wanna do. So you need to dial your tool in so that there's still an appropriate level of sound that makes sense for the scene. Let's show you uh, another example here. We're going to tune this car's sound. Car's sound. So you can see we still left, once again, some of the sound of the car itself going by, but I left my voice intact. Well, let's just show you that again real quick. Actually, I'll play both of them. I'll, they're short clips, so I'll play the whole thing. We're going to tune this car's sound so you can still hear my voice clearly we're going to tune this car's sound so you can still hear my voice clearly so that's that's how tunable you can make this thing and uh, once i uh, once we get into the fairlight page and we play around with it a little bit you can see we can eliminate it entirely if you want to 
So in, in, in some cases that might be completely appropriate. Say if you're in a restaurant and you're uh, recording audio and suddenly you get a bunch of people walk in and they're making noise. Something like that you might want to eliminate completely. Uh, so that's where a tool like this can be very valuable. So now here's an example where we've got the raw audio, of course, and then the best that DaVinci can do. And then not the absolute best that uh, Clarity can do because we don't want to completely get rid of the background noise. But there is one later on where we do do that already. So let's just play a quick segment of this. So that is quite a difference. And here we got another quick, quick example. That's up there a long, long, long ways. That's up there a long, long, long ways. But once again, we're not eliminating it completely. We're just tuning it to the level that we want. There's a control man there straight in the center in the window. There's a control man straight in the center and the window so once again you can see that now it drops that background noise down to a level so we can hear the narrator clearly we're not having to strain to try and figure out what he's uh, actually talking about okay now here's one where we're trying to get rid of wind noise and in this case we want to get rid of it completely no pressure at least the horse flies aren't biting me or nothing here <laughs> Ready. No pressure, at least the horse flies aren't biting me or nothing here. <laughs> now, isn't that just amazing? Like, holy cow! How can a program do this? Keep in mind, folks, this is the, uh, the very basic version. They have a pro version, which is much more tunable for different types of sounds, but um, this is pretty amazing in and of itself. I have to tell you, I used this for about oh an hour playing around with it with the demo and i went and bought it it was just too good not to buy and uh, i'll have a link down in the description like i said earlier uh where you can pick it up now uh, full disclosure it is an affiliate link so if you choose to buy it through that link uh, you'll still get the same great price you would get otherwise but i make a couple of bucks so hopefully you don't mind that this helps me continue to bring you content like this. So let's move over to the Fairlight page. And now we can start to look at this tool a little closer. So the one thing about this tool is that it's applied to the entire track at a time, which is why I've got these kind of separated into different areas where I've had to use different amounts of the tool. So the, uh, now I don't know for sure because I haven't tried it, but from what I understand in the pro version, uh, you can actually apply these at the clip level instead of at the track level. Uh, don't quote me on that though, I'm not positive. You know, I've got a good memory, it's just a little short. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's take a look at our tool in uh, this track. So this is our Clarity VX track, so that's A3. Okay, so here's what we've got it set at right now. And you can see it's it's a not particularly aggressive. It's a really simple tool. You got one adjustment dial, and you've got a couple of different pre-built choices for how it gets applied. They've also got some defaults with some more fine tuning in there. You can even set this up as a as a preset, so you can apply the same level every time you use it. So there are some instances where that's going to be desirable. Uh, you know, if you've got the same mic that you use in the same environment, and you want to do the same level of, of uh, noise reduction on it, that's something where saving a preset might be completely appropriate. All right, so let's, uh, let's start playing this, this audio here. Actually, I'm going to do it with this one here. So we'll uh, let this play for a little bit. We're going to tune this car's sound so that you can still hear my voice clearly. Well, thanks for checking it out. We're going to tune this car's 
sound. Okay, so let if we turn this all the way down, then you can, or, yeah, we'll turn it all the way down. We're going to tune this car's sound so you can Okay, so now we want to get rid of it entirely. We could just crank it up a bit, and you can do it while it's playing. We're going to tune this car's sound so you can still hear my voice clearly. Now, you only want to adjust it as high as you actually need it because you'll notice it can start to, even though it is a really, really good tool, it can make things sound a little bit funky if you're overusing it. So uh, use it carefully. So I'm just going to bump this back down to about where we had it. And then we'll show you with with this one here. So we had to apply the tool again on this other track. Now, if you if you look closely, if, if I want to just shut the tool off, I can click that little red dot and it'll bypass it. And we can turn it back on. And if we click where these little kind of dots are in the middle, then that'll open the tool up. So now here you can see it's a lot more heavily applied. So we got it at 92.7. So now we'll just play that again. Control man there straight in the center in the window. Still hear the machine a bit in the background. But we can actually take window. I was standing up on the far side. I was standing up on the far side, Dave. Okay, I lied. I couldn't 100% take it out. But there's so little there, you can barely hear it in the empty spaces. So, regardless, I call that a win. Actually, you know what? I opened the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. I'm an idiot. Okay, so that... The one we were just looking at was actually the one for the wind noise thing. So, um, let me just quickly, uh, let me quickly bring that back to the what was it ninety two point seven. Yeah, good enough. Okay, we'll just double check. No pressure. At least the horseflies aren't biting me or nothing here. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. So just to show you that that is indeed the one. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Uh, I, I must say, I was a little confused because it's been my experience. You can get rid of this stuff completely. Okay, so let's go back and let's grab the correct one this time. Okay, so you can see here that we're only at 67% for this, so we'll just play it real Control man there, straight in the center in the window. So now, if I crank this up a bit more, it's probably There's a control man there, straight in the center in the window. I was standing up on the far side there. Control man there, straight in the center in the window. I was standing up on the far side there from the... So there you go. It's virtually 100% gone. So you can see why I was a little confused. <laughs> you know, it's just been one of those kinds of days. <laughs> Alrighty. So you can see it's, it's pretty easy to use once you've actually got it set up. Now let's show you how to uh, actually add it to a track. So... We'll just take, uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll just take this track here. I can always pull it off again. So we just go in here and we click on this little plus sign over here on the track. And you see there's nothing under effects. So we hit the plus sign. We go down to restoration and VST. Oh, by the way, if you want to use the, the DaVinci noise suppression, uh, you go to Fairlight 
FX instead and then go to noise reduction. And that one, uh, we're not going to get into how to use that one for noise reduction. It's a little bit more of a process. You have to find a dead spot where there's no voice, but, but there is background noise, and then you sample that, and then it uses it to do intelligent filtering. But as you saw, it's nowhere near as good with that uh, wood processing one there. So we'll just go in here, we'll go to VST, and then choose the Clarity VX. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's that easy to add it. So now I will just go back in there. I will click on that little down arrow that there was on the right hand side and we'll just go delete plugin. Okay, that's it. It's that easy. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you enjoyed what we're producing here, uh, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. We do, uh, we're doing lots of videos again, and there's going to be some really cool new tips coming out for uh, DaVinci Resolve 18. So, thanks for hanging out with us today, and enjoy this uh, demo at the end that shows you the full length of all of these uh, samples that I set up for you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Bye for now. So here we are with a couple of landscapers in the neighborhood on opposite sides of me, making all kinds of racket. I uh, don't know how well you're picking it up, but you should be able to hear it. So here we are with a couple of landscapers in the neighborhood on opposite sides of me, making all kinds of racket. I uh, don't know how well you're picking it up, but you should be able to hear it. We're going to tune this car's sound so that you can still hear my voice clearly. We're going to tune this car's sound so that you can still hear my voice clearly. Well, thanks for checking it out. And uh, if you live close by, feel free to buy some wood. If not, I'll have to figure out something else. See you later. Well, thanks for checking it out. And uh, if you live close by, feel free Buy some wood. If not, I'll have to figure out something else. See you later. Well, thanks for checking it out. And uh, if you live close by, feel free to buy some wood. If not, I'll have to figure out something else. See you later. That's up there a long, long, long ways. Pushing stockpile. That's up there a long, long, long ways. Push and stockpile. There's the control man there straight in the center in the window. I was standing up on the far side there from the other port. Control man there straight in the center in the window. I was standing up on the far side there from the other port. No pressure, at least the horse flies aren't biting me or nothing here. Ready. No pressure, at least the horse flies aren't biting me or nothing here. Ready.